Hello friends, today we will see how to use Lexicon API in Liferay 7. So like in Liferay 6.2, we are using AUI for our designing. But in Liferay 7, they provide us some other APIs. So let's try to search something. So it's Lexicon Liferay. So as per the official documentation, is a lexicon is a Liferay experience language providing styling guidelines and best practices for designing your web applications. So like when you click on this sign in. So look, this is a sign in button. This is blue color and the length and width and breadth, all these things. And these are some links like create account and forget password with these icons. So how we can create this in our custom portlets. So we are just clicking on this sign in. So now our application is sign in. So when I search this, this is the official GitHub page for this lexicon. So here we have many components like this alerts. These like pages, buttons, cards. So like this is a button. So when I click on this sign in button, let me just sign out and click one more time. So it's blue and this one. So we have this the primary kind of button which is similar to that. So let's create this button in our custom portlet. So first I create a module. provide the name as lexicon test and it's a mvc portlet provide the name as And now click on finish. So now our module is created this lexicon test. So this is our class file. And this is our view.jsp. So here we're gonna create our button. So when you click on these links, so these are the buttons. So Liferay automatically provide all the classes related to this. So we just need to copy the syntax and that's it. So like this for primary, we have this button class. So I just copy this and paste this and give name as like sign in or whatever if you want to do delete the message and write and now I just need to deploy this so now our lexicon test is started Let me just sign in. So now let's add a portal to the page. It's in sample, and this is our portlet. So look, 
this is our sign in button so basically all the css are provided by library in the form of lexicon api we just need to use in our code and the path for these components are in this location so that's it for now if you like the video you can hit the like button share the video and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching